What's up, everybody? It's your boy Retro Witcher on today. This is really just a test. Uh, as you can see, I am at the barbershop and I'm just trying to get a little uh, a, a test thing going on because you already know we done told you we're trying to I, I'm trying to get my motor vlog thing going on. I'm trying to get some mobile things going on. And so the only way to uh, to do that is to do a few tests. You know what I'm saying? So right now it looks like the lighting is decent, um, but that's not really my concern. My concern is the audio. All right. Um, so this is just a test. Um, if you can hear me loud and clear, say something in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, it is what it is. Let me see here. Uh, mistake number one. But I will um, keep on keeping on. And that's what you got to do. You got to keep on uh, pressing. You got to keep on endeavoring to perfect your craft to get better at whatever it is that you do um and even obstacles uh when they present themselves you can't allow for those things to stop you from doing uh what you got to do so if you can hear me loud and clear let me know how you can hear me uh you can probably hear the background from the ac um but again i don't got no headphones so this really is just a test uh let's see here <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, so the sound is loud and clear. What about the, the chair? And all that stuff? Well, that comes with it well. uh, or is it overbearing and overpowering? Uh, let's see here. So, okay, so you can't hear the AC. Well, what about the little, the little chair? Uh, the background sound. Can you hear that? Right, I might be on to something. I might be on to something. Uh, theoretically, if this is all what I needed to be, then we might be able to just maneuver forward and make it do what it do. This is indeed a microphone check. We call that one two one two one two. Uh, yes, indeed, your boy Retro with you on today. Uh, testing out some things because we're trying to get it to a point and place where uh, we're giving you quality uh, audio as well as video uh, and all that good stuff. So let's see here. All right. It's clapping. Okay. So there's that. Let me see. All right, so now what I've done was I made a slight adjustment and uh, uh, hopefully the sound is good still. And uh, how about now I'm talking, the clapping is happening in the background. Is it still overpowering the audio from me talking or is it just about okay? I think we might even be working with some type of delay. Um, can't really explain that, but uh, let's see. Okay, so that's better. You can hear me talk even while the clapping is going on. All right, so that's what's up. That's what's up. That is what's up. All right, so mic check one, two, one, two. I think I'll go ahead and end this. Go ahead and play it back, see how it sounds, and um, then make some uh, adjustments as necessary. All right, guess what? Oh, since I got y'all on here, the lighting is good too. Cool, that's what's up. Uh, believe it or not, that's that light that Shaquan got me. So yeah, yeah, that, that joint is right. Um, so yeah, that part right there. Um, so stay tuned because we will be having some barbershop talk episodes where we, you know, chop it up here in the barbershop. Uh, we might not stick with that name or title for it for, you know, for, for certain reasons, but, uh, but that's what it's going to be. We're going to be cutting up here at the barbershop. Uh, talking with some of the young brothers, talking with some of the OGs, because the reality is, uh, for a lot of us, it all started at a barbershop somewhere. For me, it was Ernie's Barbershop. Uh, let's see, at the time he was on, 
where was Ernie located at the time? Catherine Street. He was on Catherine Street. And uh, Ernie's Barbershop was the spot, man. And they would always have the jazz playing in the background. And as a kid, I couldn't, I couldn't rock with, I didn't understand jazz. I didn't, it didn't do anything for me. But, you know, he was an old dude and that's what he listened to. And, and, uh, and he always had the jazz going or maybe a little bit of blues. And, and I can remember the older gentlemen, they'd be sitting in the barbershop, they'd be talking. And uh, looking back on it in retrospect, you could always tell which one was the liar because he was always the loudest and the most animated. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but but a lot of stuff started in the barbershop. So so years later, uh, when I eventually opened a, a, a barbershop slash hair salon, um, there were some aspects of that that were embedded in us. So as a result, we carried some of that stuff on. And uh, so a barbershop slash hair salon really should play a major role in the community that it's located. It should be a place where kids and, and, and people can go and feel safe. The barbershop should always be the neutral ground in the neighborhood. I mean, you might have some cats from the south side and some from the north side or whatever, but they should understand and that they should know that the barbershop is neutral ground. And I think it's the barber's responsibility to do what he uh, has to do to make sure he can maintain that level of respect uh, from the folks in the community. Now, you can't control all the knuckleheads, but but I believe that we can do it in such a way that we would have their respect. And as a result, if two opposing parties were to meet at the barbershop, they would know that this is not the time and this is not the place because we're not going to disrespect this man or this woman's establishment like that. All right. Um, so these are the kind of topics that we'll get into and talk about and and, and, and digest and dissect and, and all that good stuff, all right? Uh, but real talk, this is just a, a, a mic check, so that's that.